Hello and welcome to Scientifically Speaking. Uh, today um, I'm going to give an explanation for why moonlight is supposedly cold. Um, it's a very easy explanation. Of uh, it's uh, been loads of videos over the internet um, saying that the moon gives off cold light, so that it's actually warmer in shadow than it is in the moonlight. And this has actually turned out to be correct. We're going to watch uh, Theoria Apophasis video now of him using a thermal camera to prove that this is correct. Um, he doesn't have an explanation. Nobody else has had an explanation. The only explanation so far is cold moonlight, which, as I'm about to show you, um, is silly. So uh, here we go. Okay, here's a video a lot of people wanted me to make. Uh, sounds really crazy. I'm using a FLIR forward-looking infrared device, and it is an extremely clear night with a extremely bright a full moon. There goes a car down the road. Huh? You can actually still see the brakes on my uh, tires are a little warm there. So, <clears throat> got a full moon and we've got a shadow. So let's do in the light of the full moon, 16 degrees Fahrenheit, 16 degrees Fahrenheit, 13, 12, 12, yeah, okay. Here we are in the shadow. You can't see the shadow, but I am absolutely pointing it in the shadow. 22 degrees average, 22, 21, 22. Let's go outside, 18, 19. This is in the moonlight, 20, 19, 19. Also in the moonlight over here, 17, 15, 14. And this is in the shadow right here. Okay, so um, as you can see from the uh, scientific video that you just watched, that um, it is actually colder in moonlight than it is um, in the shadows. People say it's cold moonlight. All right, what is it really? Okay, well, it's very, very simple, and it's to do with laws of thermodynamics. The sun is hot, we are colder. Um, so we accept heat from the sun, literally drawing it from the sun. Um, so think about the moon for a minute. What do you think I'm going to say? I'm going to say the moon is colder and so it is absorbing heat directly from the earth. Do I have any evidence to back that up? Yes, I do. So if we just do a quick scientific check, let's take a look here. Temperatures on the moon are very hot in the daytime, about 100 degrees C. At night, the lunar surface gets very cold, as cold as minus 173 degrees C. This wide variation is because Earth's moon has no atmosphere to hold in heat at night or prevent the surface from getting so hot during the day. So the coldest it's going to get is 173 and the hottest it's going to get is 100. Now let's look at the Earth atmosphere. The exact temperature of the thermosphere can vary substantially, but the average temperature above 180 miles is about 427 degrees Celsius. So the moon's still only at 100 degrees max, minus 173 uh, when it, it's uh, at night, when it's in shadow. Um, at a solar minimum, minimum and 1700 degrees Fahrenheit, 927 degrees Celsius at solar maximum. So we're at like 1000 degrees and 500 degrees C. The moon is only at 100 or minus 173. So that means the moon is going to absorb heat from Earth. So it will it, it will absorb it from you. So it's not cold moonlight. It's just simple thermodynamics. Heat is going from a hot thing to a cold thing. 427 degrees means there's 327 degrees of extra heat being blasted out by the Earth or sucked from the Earth to the moon because the moon is absorbing heat. And just to put the nail in the coffin of silly cold moonlight stories, when sunlight hits the moon's surface, the temperature can reach uh, 127 degrees Celsius. When the sun goes down, again, 173. So whether the sun's on it or not, it still won't get to be 427 degrees Celsius. So the moon will always absorb heat from the Earth. If you're in shadow, obviously, well, the thing that's in front of you causing the shadow is the thing that's losing heat. And so in shadow, it's going to be warmer because it's not having heat 
absorbed from it. When you listen to the wisdom of God and you read the Bible and you watch the videos that God gave me to show you, you will then be able to simply understand how things work. So I do hope there's nobody under any illusions now that the moon gives off cold moonlight. It's just simple thermodynamics and I'm amazed that nobody's ever said it before. But then again, God guides me in all the things that I do. Thank you very much. My name is Lee. I follow the Christ and I'm showing you all the things that nobody else has bothered explaining. Um, Theoria's video is uh, in the description. Thanks very much. Bye.